Hey guys, it's Gabby from Profit Plans. I'm here with another plan with me in my Erin Condren vertical. Here I'm flipping through the sheets of the kit that I'll be using, which is from Brandy Shop, as well as a washi that I pulled from my collection. These are all from Michael's, I do believe. Here I am laying down the bottom washi. I decided to use this kit even though this is the week of the 12th through the 18th and St. Patrick's Day falls on here because my mom and my brother's birthday is on the this particular week. So my brother's birthday is on the 15th and my mom's is actually on St. Patrick's Day. So I wanted to use this kit to celebrate both of them. I ended up using a St. Patrick's Day kit in my B6. So here, after laying down the bottom washi, I'm going to start working on laying down my full boxes. It takes me a little bit as I kind of figure out what I want to lay down where. So for my brother's birthday, since the kit is kind of girly, I wanted to lay down the happy birthday box in on his day, which is the 15th. And on the 17th, I wanted to lay down the really pretty birthday cake for my mom's birthday. And then I was trying to figure out which boxes I should utilize for the rest of the weekend to kind of alternate and balance the colors a little bit. I have I have a bit of a cold, so please excuse my voice, um, which I'm sure you've noticed at this point. But I went with keeping the full boxes sort of in that slightly staggered in the middle sort of uh, structure like I've been doing for the last few weeks. I really like the way that this works out and that I don't have to use as many headers. I can, it kind of makes the pages, I feel like it flows really well and looks balanced to me. So anyways, I ended up picking out this balloons uh, for the quote box since I there were two in the kit and I wanted to put one during the week and then just decided to do the other one at the top here. So now I'm working on my sidebar, lay down a, a bit of super cute washi as well as my habit tracker for all of my habits. Like I said before, I saw Holly Plans who does that since I do mark these in my B6. Then I lay down another strip of washi, um, this love washi roll again from Michael's to lay down to Monday through Sunday checklist. One of them I'll be using for just things that I need to get done during the week. And then the other is for some memories with my son, just things that we did or things that he did for that particular week. So then I move on to the weekend because I wanted to lay down my weekend banner. And I just laid down a little bit of washi there to kind of get that give it a little bit of background. All right, so now I am going to start laying down the headers. This These kits I purchased just the washi strips, so I'm using the washi strips as my headers. I kind of wanted to pick some headers that sort of matched the full box, for at least for the top headers. For the most part, they kind of matched. Some of them were a little bit slightly different but I just went with what I had essentially again I apologize since I do have a cold um, this might be a little bit choppy since I have to stop the recording because I'm sick um, to be able to do my voice over I filmed this on time and I'm doing the voiceover a week later. It's actually the 22nd. So that's why this video is going up so much later than I would typically put it up. But it's just, I have not been feeling well again. And my voice just sounded even worse than it does now. So I do apologize for that. So I don't know what I'm doing over here. I think I'm looking for something as I'm starting to work on my on Monday. At the bottom, I just chose to lay down some washi from the Love Washi Roll and then put down a half box because on Monday we went out to dinner. It is our family night. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings and then we and we had some drinks and just had a good a good nice talk and kind of a nice hangout time and played a few games. Um so it was a good night. Then I whited out the 
bottom of the boxes so that I can add some stuff here. As I'm flipping through my stickers, I end up finding a emoji that is working on a laptop for my to mark that I wanted to upload a plan with me as well as put down a page flag to mark that I needed to edit. I also, on the, bo the half box that I used, since we did have a few beers, I used the little bean from Bubba Bear Studios, which I love because he just, <laughs> he's just having way too much fun having drinking that beer. Then I put down a quarter box, which I eventually switch out the color of. At first, I was trying to kind of match the colors of the half boxes and the full boxes with, yeah, the half boxes or the quarter boxes with the full boxes to kind of color block a little bit and then I ended up swapping them out because I just didn't like how much to it was too much of one thing so I just swapped them around to bring a little bit more interest then so I laid down that super cute emoji with pizza because for lunch I went out and bought some pizza slices with a friend of mine because I had forgotten my lunch that day at home and so that's why we went out then. I at the beginning or at the top of Monday I also laid down some washi as a background and then stuck down the no coffee, no worky because it's Monday and we always know that Mondays are rough. So then on Tuesday I put down another quarter box to label a special bell schedule that we had going on that day so that I wouldn't forget as well as put down an asterisk because I had a meeting during one of my class period or one of the my off periods at the bottom of Tuesday I laid down a washi a little bit of washi what are they called washi strips that came from the kit as well as a three heart checklist to mark some things that or some places that I went then I also put down the little utensils for to signify that we went out to dinner that n night because we were in the city running a few errands so then at the top of Tuesday I put down I was shuffling through my stack of things to see if I could find a little planner for planning my b6 because I actually up loaded my b6 plan with me that day so I just wanted to put find something to signify that then moving on to Wednesday here again I'm kind of shuffling through my things and I put down a strip of or a, a stick a meeting sticker from Livy and Co it's just a big sheet with a bunch of that just says meetings for uh because every Wednesday we have professional learning communities at work and it's after school so we kind of switch our bell schedule so that we can attend these meetings minimum as a min at a minimum once a week then at the top I use that really cute highlighter it's like in a nude color or like a sandish color from wild summer designs i bought a sheet when she was having a big sale or part of one of the big sales and i thought they were super cute to mark any school specific things so i used it to mark that we had the world language fair because that week was also world language week at our school so i thought it was really cool it was a cool way to signify that and our students had to go to the world language fair so then in addition i put down a three heart checklist for things that i had to do at work and they were kind of big to do's that i didn't want to forget because they were for the fair and i wanted to make sure that again i had them noted so at the very bottom i put down that super cute whale unicorn thing i feel like it has a name but i don't know what they're called and it's just eating some popcorn and watching tv so i ended up painting that night with my son and just again chilling watching tv as well as doing a lot of grading that day so i just wanted to put down some washi and a sticker from sweet kawaii designs then on thursday i put down another three heart checklist because i had a quite a few to do's that i had to do at work as well as a quarter box to signify another change in bell schedule so I wanted to make sure that I had a nice label down as well as an asterisk switch sticker. I eventually, again, swap out the colors of these to give it a little bit more variety 
even but the stickers that I put on top of it end up being the same anyways so in between the three heart checklist and the quarter box I put down a little bear from Bubba Bear Studios that says bleep and that's because I had a crazy mom call me multiple times in one day uh, demanding answers after multiple calls that I gave her and emails and then she went off on other people and it just became this whole thing that I mean it really wasn't it really wasn't good um but it was kind of a one of those they were just circulating around the same issue and there's no solutions that are being brought up so um it was kind of it was just a crazy day to be honest but I don't know at the end of the day or later in the day on Thursday oh well here's me like switching all the stuff around um was my brother's birthday so I put down a half box to signify where we went out for dinner we went to a Mexican restaurant that he really wanted to go to and he wanted to have a margarita because it was his 21st birthday so of course you know let's go drinking is always the mentality but he also had to go to school that day so he really didn't want to drink too much he just wanted to have like a little bit of a few sips which after eating dinner and whatnot he was fine Um, but he he did have to leave for school later in the day so that's what he ended up uh doing so then I put down a flag for one more errand that I had to run after we went out to our early dinner so on Friday I laid down a quarter box and a little karate guy from Libby and Co because my son had karate as well as laid down a quarter box or no a half box on its side vertically to signify a few different things I put down a little camera for filming plan with me and then a little nail sticker because I did my nails and then I put down a TV sticker sticker icon um because I watched friends on then uh earlier in the day on Friday I didn't really have much going on so I just put down some washi and put down a TGIF sticker from stick with me shop and put down a quarter box with a little laptop from Bubba Bear Studios and to signify that I had to do a lot of grading that day. So that's really what I got done on Friday at work because I had a ton of stuff that I needed to get done. So at this point, I filmed this first part of the plan with me on Friday and got all of these things done and then went, eventually went back and filmed Saturday and Sunday. So you'll see that my if or maybe you'll notice I don't know that my sleeves change a little bit and I kind of move things around um but now I'm filling things in with my pen gems I am using a pen gems with a Coletto Pilot Coletto 0.3 millimeter refill so I really like the way that this pen writes but I was kind of a silly girl and forgot that I used the pen gems and then at the end of the week when I ended up doing or when I filmed Saturday and Sunday's portion I used my Pilot 0.38 which has a little bit of a wider tip so you can see the slight change in thickness once I'm done with all of this but again I'm just going back in and filling out all the information of all the things that I wanted to denote so I'm going to leave you here with a little bit of music as I fill this stuff in. So here I am back to record on Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to start off with Saturday and I'm going to put down this half box so that I can label my mom's birthday. And then I'm going to go in with 
I was trying to figure out what sticker would be perfect to use here and I ended up switching a few things out and settling on this super cute grumpy bear sticker with the little balloons and then I went back and found a quarter box so that I can mark that I went and did some errands that morning we did some grocery shopping I kind of realized that the sticker was a little bit crooked so I tried to fix it so here I am again putting down that quarter box as well as that little shopping cart icon to signify that we went grocery shopping then moving on to the bottom part of Saturday I put down a page flag with another grumpy bear sticker he is I think it's called grumpy hates cleaning because you know we all it's the realness here so then I wanted to put down this super cute scalloped sticker that I got from Aria's Daydream it was one of the samplers that came I think it was with I don't remember what I got it with but it was a sampler and so I ended up putting down a little bit of washi so that it, I could use it as a background and then put the sticker over it I thought it just looked a little cuter to signify that I went shopping with my mom because it was again it was her birthday I didn't know what to get her so I just had her go shopping with me so she could pick out something that she really liked and she ended up picking out these shoes that she um that she really wanted. So then at the bottom I put down two washi strips divided by a third one so that I can write in the washi strips there that we had a cookout that night because that's what we did to celebrate my mom's birthday. At the top I put down another half box and a little heart icon to signify that we had CCD in mass as well as then I put down these utensil stickers, but I ended up swapping them out for a hamburger or a cheeseburger because we went to lunch with the boys. And by the boys, I mean my the kids that go to CCD with my son. So since I take them all and we just went as two families together, then we I put down a quarter box with a little phone to dem or to label that I did my voice over as well as putting down a half box for a family day that we had. We had some family members over and just kind of hanging out as well as some washi tape and another washi strip because my best friend came over. So at this point, I'm just filling in all this information with what we got done over the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. The rest of the video is just me filling in this out as well as my sidebar i hope to see you guys in the next video and hopefully my voice will be back to normal <laughs> thanks guys have a good weekend or have a good week whenever you're watching this <laughs> bye